Hey guys, Pops and Props here. Today I had a pretty awesome parcel arrive in the mail, so let's open it up and let's get right into it. Now I don't want to give away what's inside this box, but this item did sell out fairly quickly and I'm honestly surprised I managed to get one for myself. But anyways, let's crack this thing open because I cannot wait to show off what it is to you guys. And surprisingly enough, Amazon actually did include some bubble wrap in some shape or form, so let's hope what's inside here is not damaged. And so the moment we have all been waiting for is... Ooh. This is the Spider-Man No Way Home Collector Corpse box. So unfortunately, I did have the contents of the box spoiled for me, but either way, I'm still super stoked to check these things out in person. And before we even open up this box, I do want to show it off to you guys a little bit closer. It does say Marvel Studios Spider-Man No Way Home, and on the top it says Marvel Collector Corpse. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure this is the second Collector Corpse box I have ever bought for my collection, which is honestly kind of wild to think because there are some great collector corpse boxes out there but anyways guys enough of me talking let's get into the goodies of the box so the first thing we've got here is the t-shirt now if I've got to be honest I cannot remember what size this shirt is so let's hope it fits and this is what the design is of the shirt we've got all three of the different spider-man I think it looks really great and honestly I think we should try it on right now Oh, there we go guys so we've got the shirt on and let me move this box out of the way but that is what the shirt looks like I think it looks really great and honestly it fits really nice as well and interesting enough I actually don't have any Funko t-shirts that fit me well so I'm really glad this one fits I'll be wearing it all the time so let's get into the next thing in the box here I am seeing a nice spider-man pin now this thing is actually pretty huge and I can't wait to put it on my pin board. And for some reason, I remember seeing a leak where this pin actually does glow in the dark, but I don't know if it's been proven yet, so if you guys know, please let me know down in the comment section down below. The only other small thing we've got in the box is a nice little sticker. This is of the Spider-Man emblem. I think that looks really nice. I think I'll probably stick it on my sticker wall, which is downstairs. Now we are getting into the really good stuff of the boxes. We've got two Funko Pops here and I'm just gonna grab one of them first and see if I can get it out here it's kind of tricky give me one second here and there we go we finally got it out of the box this is the unmasked friendly neighborhood spider-man and honestly I think this one looks great so this is actually my first Tobey Maguire spider-man Funko Pop I know there are a couple other versions out there like the common one and the metallic one but I really do enjoy the unmasked version and this Funko Pop is just super nostalgic to me because I grew up watching the Sam Raimi Spider-Man films, so it really does have a special place in my heart. And of course, let's not forget about the other Funko Pop in the box here. We've got the Glow in the Dark Electro, and if I've got to be honest, I think this is my favorite out of the two. And so guys, if you want to take a closer look at the Funko Pop in the box, here it is right here. Once again, I know I'm repeating myself, but this thing looks amazing. We might as well pop this Funko Pop out of the box and take a closer look at it. Wow. Oh. Oh my gosh, that looks really amazing. I don't know why I keep on saying amazing. Hmm. Maybe because this is from The Amazing Spider-Man. But anywho, here is Electro, and I think this Fungal Pop looks fantastic. I really do enjoy how the lightning makes up the base of the Funko Pop. And so guys, right here, I'm going to insert a clip of what this Funko Pop looks like glowing in the dark. I honestly think the glow looks really fantastic. If it didn't glow in the dark, I probably wouldn't have bought this Collector Corpse box. Funny thing, I don't know why I'm noticing this now, but you can actually remove the Funko Pop from the clear base. So if you want to do some pop photography with this Funko Pop, this is kind of nice to be able to do. And the only sad thing about this Funko Pop is that there is a pretty bad crease on the back of the box. It's like a straight line down. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it very well on the camera right here, but it goes right down like this. Oh well, I can't complain too much because it almost is in perfect condition. So there you guys have it. These are all of the contents inside the Spider-Man No Way Home Collector Corpse box, including the shirt, which we cannot forget. And please let me know, guys, if you were able to pick up this box for your collection because I don't think we'll be seeing a restock of this box anytime soon. And before we wrap up today's video, I figured I might as well show off my Spider-Man No Way Home Funko Pop set so far. So guys, this is what my No Way Home Funko Pop set looks like so 
far, I am really digging this Funko Pop set. And let me give a quick little overview of the Funko Pops we've got here. We've got the Unmasked Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, the Glow in the Dark Electro, the Metallic Green Goblin, and both suits of the Tom Holland Spider-Man. Anyways guys, that brings us to the end of the video for today. As always, if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to do those three things, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.